Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. Now today I'm going to be making a small modification to my MFT style workbench. Let's get tinkering. When I first started my woodworking hobby, I took out a couple of cupboards and built a workbench that can be moved around and fits where the two cupboards would have been. I went for an MFT style workbench because I had intended to use a track saw instead of getting a table saw. Unfortunately, the track saw that I invested in, I didn't invest enough money. I bought an evolution saw and it was a bit of a dog. It was very difficult to get 90 degree cuts reliably and repeatably. And it put me off the whole idea of using a track saw to do my woodwork on. And I ultimately went out and bought my cabinet saw. That left me with an MFT style top, which would have been great for the track saw, but it now isn't really being used that much. I do quite like the dog holes and using the dogs to help assemble stuff. So I do use it for a lot of assembly and clamping down. But one of the problems I've had with that is finding clamps that actually seem to work properly. That left me with an MFT style worktop on my workbench which whilst great for a track saw, isn't so good for general woodworking. And here's an example of exactly why it's not very good for woodworking. You can see it's just full of sawdust. That said, I had invested quite a lot of money in a fence system and all of the dogs to fit the dog holes. And I do find that they are actually quite useful when it comes to clamping things up and assembling stuff. However, I need to do something about these holes and just the amount of dust that they collect. I was hunting around a few websites and I found that benchdogs.co.uk and UJK both make these little dogs that you can fit into your dog holes to seal them. The problem with those is they do require the dogs to have a little chamfer on them so that they don't fall straight through the dog hole. It uses the little chamfer on it just to hold the dog flush with the surface. So my plan is to make some of those dogs that will sit flush with the surface. But before I do that, I'm going to need to add that little chamfer to each of the holes. And I'm doing that using the UJK chamfer and reaming tool for 20 millimeter dog holes. Here I'm using Odden Shape, a 3D CAD tool, which is free to use to design some little plugs to go into the MFT style workbench. Now I don't have very good access to the underneath of the workbench to pop these plugs out once they're in place. So I'm also going to design it so that I can screw a screw into the top of the plugs and then I'll be able to use a magnet to remove them when I want to use the dog hole. So this is prototype number one and it fits nice and flush. It's almost perfect. The only problem that I've really got with it is the screw head doesn't go all the way in. At the moment, this takes 38 minutes to print and I've got 66 of them to print. Um, so I'm going to look to see if I can find a way of printing them a bit quicker. So this is version two. It looks identical, but now the screw is flush. OK, so I tried a few more versions. This is the second version, which worked really well. This was the third version, which is the same model as the second version, but it's got a 10% infill and it's got quite a lot of layers at the top. Now, the problem I've had with this is um, I could hear it cracking when I screwed it in because there aren't enough layers around the screw and I could increase the wall count, but I haven't done that. I then tried this version, which was shorter in this direction and it's solid, um, but I obviously made it too short because the screw is coming out the end. OK, I've come up with another design. This is just a modded one I've cut in half. And if I stick a washer on the inside, which I've done with super glue, then it still fits in there nicely. I can make it so that it doesn't have the screw at all and I can make it completely flush with no hole and it'll still come out OK. My latest design, a single one I can print out in eight minutes. A significant improvement on before. I now glue a washer in the centre of each of these. These will be underneath the actual dogs. You won't see them from the top. Here's one I did earlier. So I've got all these now fitted. They're completely flush with the surface and really easy to remove using a magnet. 
Well, this has worked really well. I couldn't have done it without the UJK reamer and chamfer tool, which allows these plugs to be completely flush with the surface. I'm no longer going to get any sawdust onto my tools below. If you're interested in all of the features of my workbench, then I'll leave some links to videos over here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.